We're making something a little bit different this morning. We have Nancy Roman with us. She's a registered dietitian, yep. and she is going to show you how to make pizza with a little twist with Tandoor Chef. So the twist is this is kind of spicy. This actually isn't that spicy. Now, some of Tandoor Chef's uh, meals that you can find in the frozen food section of your local grocery store mm -hmm. can carry that traditional Indian spice that we all hear about and yeah. sometimes are wary of when we're eating. We're like, oh, no, that's too spicy. But I can kind of give you some tips perhaps a little bit later that how dairy can help offset that heat in your mouth when you're eating Indian Indian food. That would be great. Let's hear those because I know that, as you mentioned, the Tandoor Chef, yesterday was National Hot and That's Spicy right. Food Day, and Tandoor Chef does specialize in the spicy types of food. So when you do have something like this, you get something a little too spicy, how do you offset it? Well, your first instinct is to go for a glass of ice water and just gulp it down, and that actually makes the situation worse. Yeah. Chili peppers, which are frequently used in hot and spicy dis dishes, what they have is an oil that's released in the mouth as you're eating it and that oil is what gives your mouth that heat and that burning sensation. What you should really reach for is a cold glass of milk or some yogurt. Um, typically dairy foods are often served with Indian cuisine for that reason and also because a lot of their dishes are meatless and, and the cheese that they're using is supplying the protein in the dish. But that, that milk and that yogurt will tame the heat that you feel in your mouth from eating that spicy food. Very interesting and good to know, especially if you like spicy food, you just don't like the after effects. So as we mentioned, Tandoor Chef, they have a little bit of spiciness. You can get them at Target and pretty soon when we get our Whole Foods, fingers are crossed, you'll we'll have them at Whole Foods mm -hmm. as well. And they can be found at Publix and, and Winn-Dixie. Most of our local grocery stores are carrying the Tandoor Chef products. And we love our new Publix, but. so you can get them there. And so what types of things do we have with Tandoor Chef? Well, Tandoor Chef is a second generation family owned company. And what they're doing is they're bringing frozen meals, uh, the convenience of frozen meals, and offering up authentic Indian cuisine. So we get the pleasure of tasting Indian food without having to go to all that prep, prep work and preparing it at home. I can tell you that my family had these. We sampled just about all of them last evening for dinner, and they were all delicious. We enjoyed every single one of them. Okay, and we have some, some chicken. Chicken. We have the we have um, uh, a chicken tandoori with spinach. Uh -huh. Oops, knock over my display oh, here. That's oh, that's okay. Dear. It happens. Hey, it's live TV. You never know what's going to happen. That's right. So we have some ch chicken tandoori with spinach, and we have some chicken tiki masala mm -hmm. and chicken curry. I believe this one is the actual vegan meal. So this ah. is a completely meatless and no dairy or no. Um, animal products in there and it is a little bit spicy. I had it I had it yesterday but I added a dollop of yogurt to mine and it just it worked wonders. Okay and today we mentioned gonna be making a pizza so we'll talk about the ingredients really quick that we'll need to make this pizza at home. Well we're gonna start off with non bread and this is this is by Tandoor Chef and this is traditional Indian bread. Okay. And what we're going to do and we're kind of varying or going away from traditional Indian ingredients here. So this is going to be a little bit more of a traditional pizza. It is meatless. Mm -hmm. We're spreading some pesto sauce. This is prepared pesto sauce on the naan bread. That's going to serve as our pizza sauce. Okay. And then we will sprinkle some or place some tomatoes. I've mm -hmm. sliced up some beautiful tomatoes which are at peak season. All right, so the pesto, the naan bread. Now, where do you get this naan bread? The naan bread can be found at any of our local grocery stores. Okay, so you can get the bread. So those are the first few steps. Then when we come back, we'll show you the next steps. And in the meantime, you can get the recipe, fox10tv.com. It's on the Studio 10 page. We'll keep making this, and we'll put it in the oven in just a few minutes. Back in our kitchen with Nancy from the Tandoor Chef. Now, you are also with the Southeast Dairy Association. Tell us a little bit about that. I am. I'm a registered dietitian with Southeast Dairy Association, and as a registered dietitian, I promote our dairy farmers and their products, dairy foods like milk, cheese, and yogurt. They are such an important healthy food and that needs to be part of a healthy diet. So our that's refrigerator kind of my home role. is always stocked with milk, ah, cheese, and yogurt all you. the time. <laughs> and speaking of that, we've got some cheese for our non-pizza here. Tell us a little bit about what kind of cheese we're working with we're and working, how to fix in with this. We're here. working with 
mozzarella cheese today. Mm -hmm. As I said, this is kind of a non-traditional pizza. It's not an Indian pizza, but we are using the Indian naan bread from mm -hmm. Tandoor Chef. So we started out with the basis of uh, the sauce of a pesto, basil pesto. We added the tomatoes. We're going to add some mozzarella cheese. Now this is a meatless dish, so the protein in this dish is coming from the cheese. Most people are familiar with cheese you know, providing the calcium and the phosphorus mm -hmm. and the vitamin D for the strong bones and teeth. But what they don't realize sometimes is that all dairy products are an excellent source of protein. So this is a complete a complete meal here. We've got our whole grains, we've got our fruits and vegetables with our olives and tomatoes, and then we've got our protein with the cheese. So that's just the final touches right here. We'll sprinkle a little bit of black pepper and oregano on there for some seasoning and it is ready to go in the oven. Now for people who missed the first segment, you can see it on the screen there, we're not saying naan as an N-O-N, it's not a naan <laughs> pizza, but naan is the bread. Tell us a little bit about naan bread. Well, naan bread is a traditional Indian bread, mm -hmm. and as you can see right here, it is, it is a kind of a flat bread, I guess that's what we're most familiar with, but it, but it's, it puffs up when it bakes it, and this is what um, people in India eat with their meals all the time. And good for pizza? Crust. And excellent for pizza, pizza crust. And I might add, this is a super easy, quick dish. Mm -hmm. Excellent for back to school, especially this first week as school started this week. And I'm sure there's a lot of moms going, oh my gosh. Everybody's <laughs> running around. There's a lot to take care of this week. So this will be something quick and easy to do for a dinner. Now we have this ready to go. We're going to slide it in the oven. Ready to go in the oven. It cooks up in about 9 to 10 minutes at 400 degrees. All right, so when we come back here with you in our final segment on Studio 10, we'll have the finished product, our non-pizza this morning, and also talk to you a little bit more about the Tandoor Chef. Thanks a lot, Nancy. Thank you. Welcome back to Studio 10. Nice to have you with us this Tuesday morning. Hope you're having a good one. And we have Nancy Roman with us in the kitchen, registered dietitian. She's going to be telling you about Tandoor Chef, and you've made something that smells so good for it's us this morning. Making us all hungry this morning. I, I think. know. We're going to have to have a piece of this. Now tell everybody what you have made here. I have made what is called non pizza, and as Joe pointed out earlier, it's not non as in N O N E. It's <laughs> it's non bread. N-A-A-N, which uh -huh. is a traditional Indian bread. It's made by Tandoor Chef. Mm -hmm. um, you can find it at most of the local grocery stores here in our area. And to kind of introduce everyone to in Indian food, I've used more traditional toppings on our naan bread. Mm -hmm. um, we just have some basil pesto, some olives, tomatoes, and some mozzarella cheese, and then some oregano, which is a very uh, well-used spice in Indian food, and a little bit of black pepper. Pepper. Wow, it looks so yummy. And you mentioned earlier this is something that's very easy to make too. So if you've had a long day, you just don't feel like fooling with a big meal, this would be perfect thing to make. Right. You pull the non breads out of the, free the freezer, your freezer, they take about five minutes to thaw. You can start prepping your ingredients, slicing up your tomatoes. Um, emptying the you know olive jar and get your olives out and it can be put together literally in probably five to seven minutes and takes about seven minutes to bake so it's wonderful I have to taste some this looks really really good now I'll let you tell everybody too about Tandoor Chef and how they can get some because I know you can get them local grocery stores different types of meals absolutely absolutely what they have done um, I mentioned earlier but for the sake of those that might have missed it Tandoor Chef is a second generation um, family owned business mm -hmm. um, their foods are produced um, by Deep Foods, and they are found in the frozen food department. So what Tandoor Chef has done is they are bringing authentic Indian cuisine and all those taste flavors and all those meal, meal experiences um, to the frozen food department, frozen meals, so they're very convenient for us. Um, we, my family, had these all last evening. We loved every single one of them. So they have both vegetarian options and options with chicken. Mm -hmm. And this is probably one that's most familiar with everybody. It's called vegetable pad thai. Mm -hmm. It's a noodle-based dish. So again, there's some similarities to Italian cuisine, but it it's definitely has the spices of Indian foods. And it's actually a rice noodle instead of a traditional pasta noodle. 
a lot so, of different options yes, there. Yes. Very um, good. Chicken tandoori with spinach. Now this is going to be a little spicier. Tandoori um, does mean um, you can have varying heats, and I did mm -hmm. have a taste of this, and it, it didn't knock me over to the floor. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, good. Is, it is definitely doable. Um, but again, all kinds of options uh, from Tandoor Chef. And it is relatively new to our area, and I'm excited to talk about it today. And this is a great option. Again, you can make this yourself at home. We have the recipe on fox10tv.com on the Studio 10 page. I'm pretty sure I have basil on my face. <laughs> That's okay. I'm going to keep going with it. I can wipe my face during the commercial break, and they're going to take the camera off because that <laughs> makes me sure that I have basil on my face. So make sure you get this recipe because it's is really, really yummy. Very nice having you. Thank you well, so thank much for you. coming on the show. My pleasure. <laughs> show.